So you want to get started making a method from the roadmap view. Go ahead and click on Instrument Setup. When you do that, it's going to want you to make a whole new method, but you don't want to do that. Just go File and open the default method to get you started. It's right up here. So unlike a lot of systems, Excalibur consolidates all the attached instruments into one method file. So here we see that this one method file is going to control the mass spectrometer, the LC, and the auto sampler, the surveyor AS. And you can see those pictures off to the left there. So we want to do the LC first. When you click on the picture of the LC, it should bring up this window that has two tabs. And really, the major thing you're changing, just like the temperature program in the GC, is the gradient program. So you want to click the tab for the gradient program. This is set up so that you program what percent A and percent B and the flow rate you want at each point in time. In the current program, we start at 90% A, 10% B, which is pretty typical at zero minutes. And you can see at two minutes, we're still at 90% A, 10% B. So in that way, we've programmed a hold. There's a two minute hold at 90% A at the beginning. After that two minute hold, it ramps at a constant rate from 90% A to 10% A over the next 10 minutes, so from 2 to 12 minutes in the run. And then it holds at 90% A for the next 2 minutes, so from 12 to 14 minutes in the run. And then at 14 minutes, the analytical run is done. Our analysis is done. The rest of that program is really just to prepare the instrument for the next run. So this is like when the GC is done with the temperature ramp and it's all the way up at 300 degrees, the oven had to open up and cool it back down to 70 degrees to prepare for the next run. The problem is the HPLC, if you have it all the way up at, you know, 10% A, 90% B, and you quit there and you tell it to start the next run, it'll try and jump immediately down to 90% uh, A, 10% B, and it won't make it. So your next run will start and you'll have a weird mixture of solvent. So you have to do what we call re-equilibrate, which is program a time at the end of each run where you just tell the instrument to go back to the beginning and wait there for five minutes to prepare for the next run. Now we're going to turn the mass spectrometer off, we're going to turn the detector off at 14 minutes because there's no point in the detector watching this stage where we're re-equilibrating. It's not analytical data, it's just to prepare for the next run. So one nice thing about this software is if you look at that green on the bottom, if you look at that green and red on the bottom, that is a, uh, a depiction, a graphical depiction of your gradient over time. So you can see in that graph that we start at mostly A with a little bit of B and we gradually ramp up to a lot of B, a lot of the organic, and then we hold there and then we drop back down for the equilibration. So that graph is a helpful way to double check that you've programmed things and right. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch this up to an isocratic run, a 50-50 AB isocratic run. So we changed to 50-50, now we don't need all these lines that help us with the ramp, so we're just going to go through and delete all the lines except for two, because really an isocratic run is just a five minute hold at our solvent composition. So we're just holding at 50-50 for five minutes, and that's an isocratic run. Now make sure you check the flow rate throughout your whole uh, method to make sure that the flow rate stays constant. We're going to use 350 microliters per minute. 